What's going on guys, Name is here, and today we're going to be talking about the minimap, alright? Now, the minimap is something that's been in every single Call of Duty dating back to the first Call of Duty that I've ever played, which is Call of Duty 2. So, I'm pretty sure it might have been in the first one, but I never played it, so I won't go on a limb and say that. But it's been in every single Call of Duty since then, in every multiplayer, and most of you probably just think of your minimap as that little box in the top left of your screen that shows the direction in which you're aiming and where your opponents are coming from. So... A lot of you probably only use that to determine where the action is going down and where you should be and what you should be watching. Now, being a competitor and being a professional gamer, I do anything to give myself the edge and I like to always stay ahead of my opponents. So being a pro, uh, most of the pros use their minimap in a lot different ways than you would expect. And a lot of you guys probably didn't even think about the things we think about while we're in game and what we use our minimap for. So basically this video is to tell you guys what you can use your minimap for and how you can improve your minimap awareness and learning how to improve yourself as an overall player. And because the minimap is probably one of the most, if not the most important aspect of being a professional gamer or one of the, or not gamer, a professional Call of Duty player. And um, if you don't have good minimap awareness, you will probably not succeed as a competitor. And I thought this would be a good video, so pay attention and let's get into the basics. Alright, so some basic things that you need to know are, to be more aware of your minimap, every time you spawn, you can do this in a public match, in a rank play, um, I would recommend a rank play. Every time you spawn, you should be peeking at your minimap right away. You should be seeing where your teammates are on the map. Now, most of the time in a 4v4, if you are off respawn, there's something that needs to be filled. There's a gap in the map and there's a, an area or direction that needs to be filled and needs to be watched. And if you're just spawning up and you don't look at your minimap, you're going to have no idea where to go or you're just going to sprint somewhere or end up somewhere that you're not supposed to be and you're not going to be as useful as you can on the map. I remember in Black Ops two i wasn't that good at paying attention to my minimap so whenever i played any scrims or anything with my team i would just go ahead and glance at the minimap every time off spawn and i try to fill those little gaps and try to help my teammates out to the best of my ability and i found that doing that gave me a routine where now i'm it's just instinctual it's it's habit where i check my minimap in almost every situation so make sure you guys do that and it'll help you a lot all right, so the next thing you guys need to know is after you learn how to spawn up and fill those gaps on the map, you need to learn a rotation. So basically, um, when you're playing a CTF or a hardpoint or even an uplink, um, this applies more to CTF and hardpoint, but there will be a rotation on the map. So whenever you spawn and you fill that gap and you learn how to do this uh, effectively and you get pretty good at it, you should then learn how to rotate. So whenever a teammate dies, because it's inevitable, in Call of Duty, players are going to die, your teammates are going to die, and you're going to have to fill those gaps. So you should be constantly paying attention to your minimap. Anytime some action is going down, or anytime in the kill feed somebody dies, you should be getting ready to fill that gap and getting ready to rotate to the next position that needs to be filled. So basically what this means is if you have been effectively holding down your position or if you've been effectively pushing out whatever you're supposed to be pushing out, you should then be rotating to the next most important position um, if your teammate dies. So basically that is going to create a rotation off spawn. So you're going to hold complete control. And um, hopefully you guys can see this example. This is an example of a, of a good rotation. Alright guys, so I chose this clip because it shows how powerful the tool of the minimap can be and what you can use it for. So basically, um, Optic's playing Hardpoint and Solar right now and they're using their minimap to rotate and effectively fight off everybody on the map. So as you can see right now, Formal is, or Crim and Scump are cleaning up these guys over here at Fan. And once they clean them up, they know exactly where they're going to spawn. They're going to spawn across the map and a search and destroy site. So right now Formal's fighting them and Karma noticed on his minimap that Formal died. So Karma rotates over here to get these kills. He picks up a few of them. And then Krim noticed that Karma died. So Krim's going to watch the way where Karma just died from. And he keeps cleaning them up. And as you notice, all this time on this hardpoint has went to Optic. Just because they've been paying attention to their minimap. They have been, they know where everybody's dying and where the action is on the map. And they know what gaps that need to be filled. So this is kind of a way you can utilize your minimap to get better. And a way you can utilize it to your advantage. Another advanced thing I wanted to talk about was flag routes. So basically, when your teammate pulls the flag out and you're on the map, so right now you don't know what to do, you don't see anybody on your screen, and your teammate just pulled the flag. Now let's assume there's no communication, right? And all you have left is your mini map, your teammates on the map, and you don't know what to do. So what you should be doing right there is you should be looking at your mini map. You should be trusting your teammates because that's the best thing you can do in this situation. You should be cutting off the next possible... Uh, area where your flag carrier can die. So let's say you're playing retreat and 
um, the flag is running down pool and you have one teammate pool watching his back and you have another teammate in uh, in towels and you spawn up in cave. Now, the next possible, the only possible way that your flag carrier can die, given you're trusting your teammates to get their kills, is from either dub or mid alley. So what you should be doing is you should be jumping up dub or you should be camping back watching this very cut to make sure that the flag does not die. Now, obviously, that's a very simple uh, oversimplified situation and but that's pretty much the general gist of what you're gonna have to do in CTF to get cut so you can you can obviously tell that using your minimap is the only possible way you would know this information and you can think about that in the situation where you're gonna be putting this a lot so you're gonna have to learn to look at your minimap off spawn or and just in any situation where it requires teamwork and you can't get all the call outs out or you don't or the team your other teammates don't know all the information on the map. So that's how you use your minimap to kind of um, figure out what's going down on the map and what you need to do without somebody telling you what to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful. Make sure to go ahead and play and try to implement it into your game because I promise it'll make you a better player. But if you want to check out more content, go ahead and click that box in the center of the screen. It'll take you to my very last video, which was about right hand advantage and peaking and another tip that'll really help you guys, you know, excel and become the better player that you know you can be. So thank you guys for watching. As always, peace. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed it. And if you want more, I might start doing some more in-depth stuff, but hope you enjoyed it and I'm out, guys. Peace.